Go ahead. Gary? Yeah, I'm using your equipment to stage these tolls here. It's probably gonna make my boss mad that I'm doing this, but one thing, you can use it for the rookies when you hire them in, let them watch them see how it's done. Sorry, boss, we gotta do it. Thank you. Go. Good afternoon, folks. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm gonna do another instruction video today. I'm gonna use my personal truck back here. I'd use my customers to do it, but you know, when you get there and you're doing your job, people want you to hurry and get it done. So let's get this started. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in here and turn on the PTO by pushing the button. This turns all the hydraulic systems on. Come back here to the back. This first handle here makes my bed come back. The second handle here go up. I'm going to run the bed all the way back to where it stops. Bring it forward just a little bit. And there we go. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to release the PTO uh, drum brake. Whatever you guys call it. Everybody calls it something. I can pull the cable out. Now my truck, there's a couple different ways that I can hook this thing. Uh, as you can see, I got a hook here, a hole here where I can place it to. But the problem with that is that sometimes when you put the chains in here, and you start pulling on them, the frame itself hits it and it pulls the chains out. So we don't want to do that. We don't want the truck to take off rolling or anybody get hurt. So there's another hole right here. That's where I'm gonna stick it to. I'm gonna grab my other chain here. I'm gonna throw it to the other side of the truck. Hooking up these trucks, there's a little bit more work that comes into doing it. Oh! And same thing here, there's a hole here that I can use, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use this hole right here. And we're going to come back around here. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to push it, bring this in, push it in so that way my PTO and the gearbox work. Push this down makes my winch work. We're going to snug the chain up. We do that so that way when I come back here and I put the truck in neutral, it doesn't take off rolling. Reach in here, turn the key on, put it in neutral, shut the key off, and leave the key in the ignition because it ain't coming out. Always remember to take your gloves off when you're getting into these cars because you don't want to get them dirty. And we're going to winch the truck up. Reach back in here. We're gonna put it back in park. And we're gonna pull the key out. Shut the door, put the key in your pocket, always in your front pocket. Now I'm gonna take this lever and push down, which is gonna lift the bed up. And I'm gonna push this one about the same time to make the bed go forward.
want to get the weight of the truck up and over the wheel wells, the bed's still at an angle. Do that for a couple reasons. Then I'm going to grab my safety chain and hook it. I'm gonna stick this one in this hook right here. Throw the rest of this in the back of the truck. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna grab my main chain. We're gonna slap it right down in that hook. And it hooks the chain solid. The rest of the chain is going up here. The excess of it. We're gonna pull just enough up to go around the tire. That way it stays. Then we're gonna come here to the winch. We're gonna push down on it. We're gonna tighten the truck up. And we'll process this here. We want the bed to squash down, squish the suspension. You ain't gotta squash it too much, just enough. And lower the bed all the way down. Put in the hole. Now the reason why we do that for is because this is a big truck on this tow truck. So we don't want it going down the road doing this. Because it gets top heavy, next thing you know, it puts you in the other people's lane, it puts you in ditches, you hit cars, it's a mess. So just tighten it down and be done with it. Since we're doing a video here, I'm gonna shut this thing off so I ain't gotta keep hollering at you. Turn the PT off. I'm gonna start throwing my strap. this one here. Some people have stuff over there and some over here. It's just the way I do it and I'll explain to you later here why I do it this way. So I'm throw two, more, two straps down. I'll throw another strap across. Now on this truck here we can go through the rims if you want or you can go over the tires. It don't matter. However you prefer to do it. I prefer to go over the tires. My opinion is when people's got nice rims, they don't want anything touching that rim. So, better just go over the tire, that way you don't have no arguments. Because next thing you know, somebody's arguing, you scuff their rim. Take my strap, put it in my buckle hole here. Bring it back here, and the chain goes in these little hooks back here. And just ratchet it down. See, it's good and tight, it's squinched in. If you know, if you've ever bought a rim, you know rims ain't cheap. And people are just waiting for you to scuff them and mark them up so they can start bitching. Pull that one over, pull that over. Basically, I'm gonna repeat this process three more times. Go through the hole here, put the chain back in the hole for this hole, and crank it down. Do you see it squinching the tires? You know that's tight. And if you look up here, folks, you want to make sure that strap's coming on and it's not touching the brake line here at all. This is, this is your brake line. Don't want to be touching that at all. That's the bad thing about going over tires. Is you want to make sure you don't touch your brake lines. Strap in there. One more time. I know it's kind of knotting in here, just doing the same thing over and over, but it's repetition, repetition. Makes everything right. Take 
Chain press walk through the deal. Chain in the hole. Okay, like earlier I said, we, some people have straps over here. I keep all mine over there. And here's the reason why. Because you saw me start over there, I worked my way around. When I got here, I'm done. But people that have straps over here, now they have to come here and grab the straps, put this one, put the one on the back. And then they get to come back here and check this again. To me, that's a lot of work. And I can just do one trip and I'm done. You want to go walk back around here? That one's tight. That one there's tight. And I look at my chain, you see that thing's tight, it ain't doing nowhere. That's tight. And that's tight. Now the reason why I did all that for is because these newer tow trucks are littler, if you've noticed. If you look at some of the older tow trucks, if you look at this newer truck, they're actually smaller than the older trucks. And as you can see, my truck towers over this. So that's why you put all them steps. And keeps the truck steady right where she's going. It's not going to come off. The only way that truck's going to come off there right now is if I roll the truck over. And if you see all them straps, you can see them on, just on this camera. So just think what a cop sees when he drives by. That thing is strapped down at four different corners. Chances are he's never even going to look at it. He's going to go on. No big deal. All right. Okay, let's say I'm done. I got it to the dealership or I got it to your house, wherever I'm taking this truck to. Time to get unloaded. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reach back in here, turn on the PTO on here, which engages all the hydraulic systems again. Now, unloading the truck's a little different than the car. On this one here, I'm going to start here. Unload the, unstrap these. Come over here and unstrap this one. So I'll throw it on top of the truck. Throw this one across the truck. Same principle here. Try not to hit the camera person with the strap. Come over here. Lay that down. Strap this one. Put them together. Now I'm going to come here to my controls. I'm going to scoot the bed back just a little bit. I'm going to raise the bed up a little bit. Now I'm going to use my cape, my winch, and I'm going to release it a little bit and let the truck roll back some. That way my chain's loose. That way go ahead and do that. Take my chain up and drop it off. There it go. cameraman got to get a little happy. I'll leave that stuff back there for a reason. <coughs> so that way when I look down the bed, I know I need to put that stuff up. So I'll grab my straps. I'm going to throw them two across. Put them in there. So there's three straps in there. couple reasons I do a lot of counting because when I get to my next job I want to know I got my stuff here so I can do my next job nothing worse you get there and you left your cables and you left your chains somewhere else now you're trying to figure out how to load a car properly so now I'm gonna come back here bring the truck all the way back The 
the bear touches the ground, I want to bring it in the air just a little bit more. That way I know that mountain's on the ground. Make sure my cable's a little tight. Grab the keys out of my pocket, take the gloves off so you don't get the inside of the car or truck dirty. You gotta come back up here and release the cable. That way you can unhook un hooker. Tighten up the chain and cable. I've had a couple people ask me why to always keep the chain in the same spot. A couple different reasons. My next job, when I get out of my truck, it's right here on the passenger side where I like to work. I mean, driver's side where I like to work from. As you can see, I leave it a little loose. And the other reason why I do this for is because a lot of people you'll see they'll have change of stuff just dead us uh, flying around in the back of the truck. I don't want the cops looking at me. So if you're going down the road, it catches everybody's eyes, catches cops' eyes, they say you know you're getting pulled over. If you ever got pulled over with a commercial vehicle, you know you're getting a ticket and you just lost your paycheck, if not more. So we want to make sure everything is nice and secured on the back of your truck. Plus, you don't want nobody calling your boss talking about something flew off the truck and hit them. Just bring the bed back up, put it back in its place where it belongs. Now see if you look on the back of my bed, it's all neat and clean. You don't got chains and boards and everything, just wherever. You want your truck to look nice? That's it. I know my boss is going to be mad at me because I'm using his equipment to stage these things, but sorry Gary. Had to be done. Plus, you probably use this here for the rookies and try to teach him something. Thank you, folks, for watching my channel. Like and subscribe. I need all the help I can get. Thank you. <laughs>